Yo, what's up guys? We're back with more Mushoku Tensei. After a long while, been MIA, but the show goes on. Um this is probably I'm probably gonna do this as a double. I already know uh the latest episode is titled Turning Point 3. And I already know that's gonna be crazy based on how on the turning point uh in the series have gone. So yeah, I'm excited to get to that. We last left off with Rudy seeing Norn and Aisha and Rujer dropping them off and they're gonna be staying with him i'm excited to see how his relationship with noren goes because you know she doesn't like him off back because of what happened with him and paul so it's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out but without further ado let's get into episode 16. Mm -hmm. of course this is holy mo その後はイーストポートに向かい、そこでお前の父親、お前の師匠にも会った。ロキシー師匠。うん。だ、ギスがビサダブヘシーズラクシーアゲン。君に怖がられてしまった。まあ、ロキシーだったか。仕方あるま
Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's the heaven he gave her. She's very earnest, man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Definitely raise, raise that value. It's dope. He's got the same eyes, man. That's dope. All three of them. Paul's eyes. You're a kid too. Let's give her the opportunity to really choose that for herself. Like, give her other opportunities. Yeah. He's the real problem with this episode, I guess. <laughs> but she is. Yeah. Feel free to. Yep. It's gonna be interesting to see, like, you know, if they have any type of moment where they're at odds. <laughs> right. It's kind of weird, bruh. Okay. We can work with that. Of course she does. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> she doesn't want to live with you, bro. You need to you need to mend to mend the fence. Ooh. This is tough because because Nora has been the most the more favorable. Yep. Uh, yes. No. Yeah. This is all of Paul. Fa family dynamics is crazy. You have to. Ha really has to handle this delicately. I do feel like. Part of me does feel like though, like sending Aisha off to school would be good for her. Cause like being a maid is all she's known. That's fair enough rules. <laughs> now you sound like a parent. You and your sister. What you mean? That too. Nice. Yeah, by herself. Hey, Rudy's respected the school, so it's like, oh, it's like. <laughs> what is it um it's, it's fishing now what <laughs> Luke
Oh my gosh, what? Okay. What the what's that got to do with me? They think it's you. <laughs> oh, so she she was talking to Kurose and she was talking to Kurose and she was talking to Kurose and she was talking to Wait, state your case, bro. You even know. Of course not. I had nothing to do with this. First of all, hearing it of it today. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Freaking Charles, man. <laughs> Word. We return these to the victims. Absolutely. Right. Nope. She doesn't want to talk to you, bro. Now they know, like, there's another gray rat out here besides Rudy is on the Paul. Again, they're showing, they're showing Norn on her own, man. <laughs> How quickly the tone could change. Is she supposed to be in costume? Or is that really? Oh, it's her. Oh. Very similar, actually. He could probably appeal. To he has more. He could probably have more empathy for Norn than he would if well it's for Aisha because kind of they kind of seem on the same wavelength of course like Aisha's mom was a concubine but at the same time it doesn't negate the fact that he's a sister and all that Rudy has a delicate balance to handle with that I think he handled it well when that issue came up but he kind of just has to watch his verbiage and he kind of saw it like from the very beginning like things he was saying to Nora versus Aisha. Nora has had that benefit of the doubt. She probably has been treated differently. Okay. We're already at that point. So it's not like a build up. Nothing. Nothing more serious. We already know how this goes. So it doesn't look like she's per, per se. Yeah. For sure. Ooh. What is he about to say? Don't oh God. Let's see how you step up to the plate, Rudy. Right. <laughs> I'm just here to ask a question. この教室の女子生徒一名が不登校になりました。彼女は僕の妹です。ああ。まだ中にいると僕はそう思っています。どいつだ。I Yeah, 
can't go assuming, man. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, because somebody told her that you're not like him. What? All situations aren't equal, Rudy. Yeah, so it's different from your case. Now they're comparing her. Yep. They're comparing her to you. Let's go have a heart a heartfelt talk with her. Conversation. Yeah, you just look like you care. Yep. You're a little aggressive, but it's understandable. You know, if you felt like somebody hurt her. You could talk to her, man. Prevent her from being a shut-in. <laughs> yeah, what? What is Shadow like? She's like, I'm doubling down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to come outside on her own. He already knows what it is, man. You good, man? Hey, we helping Nana Hoshi and it worked out, so let's help again. See if we can work it out, work it out with Norm. Oh, he's gonna sneak in. It's a risk. Makes sense. She doesn't know you. She doesn't really have an attachment to you. Even though she doesn't really know Rudy either, it's still her brother. I thought he was gonna jump up, but that works too. Oh, wow. Freaking wheelbarrow. Hey, shout out to Lydia, Persona. Okay, coming through. Please let me in. I just stuck up here. Oh, wow. That was that was super dope. His old voice. What he said to his parents. This is dope. Oh, my God. Loving this already. Hold up. And it wasn't receptive. At least his brother was trying, but you, you can see right there. Kind of starting to sigh and eventually it started happening. Yep. There's so many times, like, it's like, what? You probably thought, you know what? What can I do? You have to speak in a way that would appeal to yourself. What would have got you to get, to get up and get moving? When did you start feeling afraid? This is a shocker. Sorry, I hate you. At the same time, you ain't know. You ain't know the relationship between the two of them. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's completely understandable, her perspective. That's a double. That's a double. But how did she receive that? 
Not even. He actually, he actually wanted to respect your wishes. Ooh, that's what it does. He was talking about. It definitely could make you feel bad. Like, everybody's talking about how great your, your, your older brother is. And then it's like, you struggled with your exam and all that. Yeah. Exactly. All they care about is your older brother. They don't even know your name. Mm -hmm. Of course. Ooh, I feel I feel bad. I feel bad for Norn. You saw that too? Mm hmm Exactly. You can see that seed growing, man. The roommate's design looks dope though. Ooh. Anxiety. Doesn't want to go outside. Panic attack. That was so dope. Rain building up. He has. This man was teleported to a whole different part of the. Yeah. Talk to him. Oh. They talked it out. This is so dope. It's so good to say. Help you again. Not at all, man. Is that the perfect part? He's a perfect. What's he going to say? Honestly, I don't really know you. It's, it's fair to not know what to say. Yeah, open the veil. He is really emotion. See what he's really like. Ooh. Paul saw Paul when he was when he was at his lowest. Yep. Just just like what you had just said, your pops ain't run away. Mm -hmm. So you don't run. Yes. Let's let's talk and hug it out. What she needed. What she needed. Ohio ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。ゴザイは。
But at the same time, I never really thought about his older brother. Yo, super dope episode. They actually flow very well as a two pack from the first episode to this one. But this episode was really special. Michelle tends to, tends to do these things where Rudy is able to take what he's done in, what happened in his past, and reflect on it himself, uh, learn from it, acknowledge it, and use it to help the current situation at hand. That's exactly what he did with Norn. At first, you know, he thought Norn was being bullied. He found out that she wasn't going to class based on his past situation, but it clearly wasn't the case. Acting aggressive because he thought Norn was being hurt, uh, whether it be physically or verbally by other classmates that she had it turned out that that wasn't even the case but he he had the uh, animosity uh especially when that first girl that eventually things like she's gonna he's Norton's friend now uh raised her hand to tell Rudy everybody's situation is different um it wasn't because it wasn't because she was being bullied by these other people it's actually because of him indirectly first of all she struggled with her exam, she was a little bit below average uh, to get into the school in the first place. So off of that, she's feeling inferior. Then when she comes to the school, everybody's talking about Rudy. It's all she's being asked about is Rudy. Is. She's constantly getting compared. It's like Rudy is a celebrity. Everybody's just trying to get some Rudy is through her. They don't even know her name. Shout out to Lania, Persena, Delphi, Ariel for helping Rudy out. Just like we did with Nana Hoshi, he used his friend group to help him out, help appeal to Nana Hoshi, get her out of her funk. Yeah, Sylphie, uh, Lenny and Persana Ariel did the same thing to help Nora get out of her funk. And it was really dope to see the uh, transitions that we're, they were making, like when Rudy touched the door first and heard his response back to his brother not to come in. His whole backstory with his brother and how he used that help himself someone that like his brother was giving him as rudy said common sense answer but they weren't getting through and at a point uh rudy just didn't say anything it was just ignoring him so his brother left and um because he couldn't get through to him so rudy not knowing what to get say to norn just went completely honest like i don't know what to say to, you. to be honest i don't really know you norn had this preconceived notion about rudy you know, she said, when at one point did I become afraid? Because she's seen her firsthand encounter with Rudy is what happened between her and Paul. And uh, she's seeing like all these people holding them in such high regards. And she's like, why is that the case? Why is everybody like this about him? And you see Paul, you know, saying he's had it rough too. And Ruggiero's, you know, speaking highly of him and telling, telling her that she's not that. And then also saying that her father didn't run away. Rudy didn't run away as well. So it helped her not to do the same thing and to not run away. It was a dope moment, dope episode for uh, Rudy and Norn. And I hope their relationship will be able to get to the level of Aisha uh, and, and Rudy. I hope they could get comfortable like that. But it's a good starting point. But now we got the turning point. Oh my God, the turning point is crazy last time we had a turning point we almost died we almost died i expect the man got to sh pop up at some point because he always pops up during the turning points it seems like uh so yeah we'll have to see that uh, i'm excited to see what happens and scared for the turning point so that'll be the next one so uh let me know what you guys thought in the comments below leave a like if you like the video subscribe to the channel with that you guys have a great one peace